Okay, this video is going to go over 5.2c. That's solving systems algebraically, specifically quadratic linear systems. What that means is you're going to have one of these lines that's a quadratic, and then you're going to have one of these lines that's a linear function. And basically, you're going to have to um, find out where they crisscross if you were looking at it graphically, but algebraically, it's a little trickier. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I would do is I'd make this equation say y equals, so I would minus x. Because if you can get them both to say y equals, then you can set the red equation and the blue equation equal to each other like this. And why this matters is because now you're going to want to make it say equals zero. So move everything from one side. Watch your like terms here. And once you get it to equals zero, you can factor this. And once you factor it, you just set each factor equal to zero. Like that. Let's look at another. First thing you're going to want to do is make this equation say y equals. So get rid of the 2x. All right, now set, since they both say y equals, set the red equation and the blue equation equal to each other. And then just um, go solve it by making it say equals zero. So move everything from one side. Watch your like terms. All right, when you're here, this one doesn't factor like a normal trinomial. This one is a GCF. You just GCF an X out of there. Then you can set each factor equal to zero. All right, this next one, make it say Y equal on the bottom equation. Then set them equal to each other. Make it say equals zero. So move everything from one side. All right, now this one doesn't factor like a trinomial either. This one's a difference of squares. Set each factor equal to zero. And that's basically all there is to this. Let's look at this next page. <clears throat> the second equation, they already have it y equals. So since they both say y equals already, you can just say uh, set the red and the blue equal to each other. Move everything from one side. All right, this one factors like a trinomial. Set each factor equal to zero. All right, the next one. You need to um, add 2x to this bottom equation first. That way you get y equals by itself. Now you can set those equations equal to each other. M move everything from one side. So make it say equals zero. 
This one's the difference of squares. Set each factor equal to zero. All right, two more. Add one on the bottom equation so you get y equals. Now you can set these equations equal to each other. Move everything from the right side. Pay attention to your like terms here. You're gonna end up with x squared minus x equals zero. GCF and x out. Set each factor equal to zero. Okay, and then this last one, you need to add three first so you get y equals on the bottom equation. Let me clean that up a little bit. You really need to watch your um, plus and minus signs on these because if you mess up one plus or minus, then it might not factor nicely and it might be a real headache for you. Just saying. Now you can set these equations equal to each other. Move everything from one side. Now this one factors like a trinomial. Set each factor equal to zero. And solve. And that's how you do these. Hope this video helped.